so this tutorial is going to be all about Lightroom presets. So we're going to be getting into that, importing presets, exporting presets, creating your own presets, making folders for presets. It's presets crazy. So I'm going to be showing you all of that, including uh, giving away one of my own presets that I create. Usually I use as a base for almost all of my photos. And I'm going to leave that in the description below, a little link that you guys can go to and download it yourself and have fun with it, use it as a base. So we're going to get right into it. Tutorial. So say you wanted to import a preset that you just downloaded into Lightroom. Say like the preset I'm giving away. Say you downloaded that and now you wanted to import it into Lightroom so you can utilize it. How do you do that? I'm going to show you. Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to right click here right let's create a new folder so we're gonna go ahead and name this folder new preset so this is gonna be our new preset you can see it right here we've got our folder which is completely empty because we have nothing so we're gonna go ahead and on the folder we're going to select it we're going to right click and hit import right and so once we have import I already have over here on the desktop so the file is going to be a .lr template. When you're downloading a preset for Lightroom, LR stands for Lightroom. It's going to be an LR template, .lr template. So this one's going to be our woodland fade, which is what I am giving away today. And we're just going to go ahead and hit import. And bam, it's really that simple. And there it is. See, it was empty and now it is not. So this is the way the photo looks originally. Now, if we apply the woodland fade that I'm giving away, bam see look it's beautiful it's beautiful kind of got this fade going on maintaining the colors We've got a great range of uh, highlights there um, it's beautiful we got some grain there you can go ahead and mess with the vibrant and bring that up if you want if you really want something yeah look at that it's beautiful look at that sky it's gorgeous it's great all right so this is the template that I'm giving away now. Let's just say you created your own template, all right? Uh, your own preset. So let's just say we make some fine tunes here. Let's just, uh, okay, I want this S curve to not be so S like. <laughs> let's take it down. Let's bring this up. Let's just say, oh, yep, yeah, I like that. Uh, let's go to the split toning. Yeah. Let's just say that I want this to be like that and we're gonna go to the warmer side okay so let's just say now this looks like crap but let's just say we have this preset and this is what we like right so this is what we like this is what we're going for and we would like to save this so that we can apply it to other images right so instead of doing the copy and paste which you can do if I hit copy it's gonna ask me what I want to copy and I'm gonna select everything that I want to copy I'm just gonna hit copy I'm going to go over to another image and you can hit paste. And what this is going to do, it's going to paste all of the parameters, all of the settings from the other photo that she created. And it's just going to paste all of those, You're essentially just copying and pasting all of the settings onto this photo. Right. So I know this is a crappy preset, but this is just to give an example how you can save your own presets inside of Lightroom and have them to apply to whichever photos you want, you know, in any collection that you have. So right here, we're going to go ahead, hit this right here where it says create new project, this little plus right here at the side of your presets bar. And you can go ahead and name it. I'm going to call this uh, crappy preset because it truly is and you can go ahead and check anything that you want so say I didn't want to include the vibrance I wanted to you know start that from zero and control it myself so I don't need to include that right but I can go ahead and check whatever it is so you can set this up exactly the way that you want it and you can choose which folder so let's just say we want to save it to the new new we created the new preset folder so we're gonna save it into there and now that we have it saved you're gonna see it's right here in our folder we can go ahead and apply this to anyone that we want. So say we want to apply it to this. You just go ahead, hit graphic preset, bam, and it's applied. So now we have just successfully created our very own preset. You have created your very own preset. So now what 
we have left to do is say we wanted to share a preset with somebody or give it away or whatever. How do you do that? How do you export a preset? So it's actually very simple. You can go right here. So say we wanted to export this crappy preset so this way we can share it with a friend or someone else who's like, hey, how did you do that? What did you what preset did you use or you know what settings did you use to get that? color tone in your photo and you can go ahead and share it with them so you're gonna go ahead you're gonna right click on the preset that you want to export you're gonna hit export just like that and name it whatever you want save it wherever you want I'm gonna save it to the desktop right here and it's gonna save as an LR template a dot LR template LR standing for Lightroom and you're gonna go ahead and save once you save it you're gonna have it right here on your desktop bam and once others download it, they can go ahead and apply it to their own and import it into their Lightroom and use it freely. So that is how you import, export, and create your very own presets. And uh, I'm going to be giving away, again, the Woodland Fade preset. So check in the description below. I'm going to leave a link in the resources section there. And uh, you can go ahead and download that for free and uh, use it as a base. It's a great base. Um, I use it almost all the time. It's great. It works with majority of photos, including the iPhone 7 photos uh, that, you know what, I'll show here. These are the photos that I've taken with the iPhone 7. I showed them in the previous video. And uh, they look really good. And these I've already gone ahead and graded already, as you can see. And they look pretty great pretty freaking great. So if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, shape or form, feel free to share it because sharing is caring and uh, be sure to hit that like button and uh, subscribe and hit the bell. So this way you can be notified of future tutorials. And uh, next week we're going to be uh, still on the iPhone seven, uh, probably getting into the film side of things. So we'll probably be diving into premiere pro as well. So thanks for watching. I am Timothy Santana. I will see you next time.